time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning. Week four of The Bachelor takes a detour to Las Vegas. Yes, joining us with the details is World News Now senior Bachelor analyst. Jack Sheehan. Hey. Hello. You out of breath? Single that? rose this week. Okay. okay. Just ran in here. Let's get right to it. Yes. 14 women started this week. Vegas, baby, Vegas. One on one day. JoJo and our man Ben. It didn't oh. start off too well. The helicopter there uh, blew over their table, but once they got going, they uh, they really got going. Uh, you know, a little helicopter oh. ride around kind of thing. Folks, JoJo is in it for the long run. JoJo gets the rose. Moving on. The group date. This was a talent show. Maybe we should say lack thereof. <laughs> uh, there was dancing. There was cello playing. Oh, nice. There was all sorts of little, uh, you know, other stuff going on. But Olivia was the star, uh, the unwilling star, I would say. Is that a talent? It was supposed, allegedly a talent. This was no doubt the most cringeworthy moment <laughs> of the season <laughs> so far. Probably in, in like a, a decade or so, a Bachelor, Bachelorette, and Bachelor in Paradise material. This was absolutely horrible. There's no other way to say it. Unfortunately, afterwards, she overcame a, a panic attack. Olivia actually got the rose. Moving on. Becca, one-on-one uh, -on -one date with Ben. They started out there in the little white chapel. Ben got down on one knee. No. Just kidding. Uh, no, they, 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 he got down on one knee. And well, he got down on one knee. He was in a tux. Obviously, Ben has been uh, ordained so he can carry out these wedding things. So that's what they did. It was, re it was really nice. Becca, we should say, gets the rose. Then the two-on-one date. You know that there are these twins. Twin? Who doesn't like twins? Emily and Haley. They went, they're actually from Vegas, so they took a limo out to see their mom. They had some, you know, time. They're talking to Ben. You get the idea. See, the thing is, there was both of them in the limo on the way to mom's house. Uh-huh. Mm. And? Only one of them oh. went back. That's Haley, uh, thanks, but no thanks. You get the oh. idea. So now we're, uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. In the rose ceremony, excuse me, 11 women got roses. There was also, uh, obviously, Haley's gone. Amber didn't get a rose. Better luck on Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Rachel, she didn't get a rose. The kiss count, the kiss count stops at eight. Wow. Yes. He was kissing women with the same regularity as Carolina was scoring touchdowns. <laughs> nice. Tell you what. Nice. Next up, Vamos Mexico. They go to Mexico. Analyst out. All oh, right. Great. He's got to get to Mexico and he's go, go to the location. Mexico. <laughs> he's got Just a week count. to figure it out. It, it was busy. His lips were busy. Even That's little great. Ben got a kiss. a good it. wrap up. Thank you so much, our senior Thanks, bachelor <laughs> analyst. Yes. So next up, after all that, Sofia Vergara is suing a beauty company for $15 million. Yeah, the Modern Family star has filed a lawsuit against Venus Concept, where she actually did receive a skin tightening massage that was back in 2014, even posting a who say photo of herself getting the treatment with a poster of Marilyn Monroe looking on. Okay, so since then, however, uh, Vergara claims the company has been using that image without her permission and without paying her, and TMZ is reporting that Vergara I wasn't even that happy with the treatment in the first place, describing it as a waste of money. I'd like to know how much that costs for the skin tightening, just in case I you know, know a friend. Yeah. And speaking of money. Tighten what parts? <laughs> we're getting new details about that sparkly bolero jacket worn by Sarah Palin during the Donald Trump endorsement. Yes, that $695 jacket sold out at Saks, as you know. Amazon, as well as eBay, within hours of Palin's endorsement. And it appeared that Tina Fey got her hands on one for her parents spoofing Palin on Saturday Night Live. But it turns out that not even Saturday Night Live could get one, so they actually made one. A side-by-side -side comparison shows, really, there was no difference. Take a look. Look at that. Kudos to those amazing costume designers over at SNL. Look at them putting it together. And you can't look, even tell the difference. You can't tell the difference at all. I would actually like to request from the SNL crew one of those jackets. I'd love to wear it on set one day. We'll get you some paper clips and, you know, we'll do okay. the same thing. I'll take a makeshift creation from our staff here. Yes.